September 2017, Christchurch, New Zealand. We are at a building site with the innovative Armadillo Foundation system. We are here to see why this environmentally friendly technology has been a great success in the Christchurch rebuild. Today we are talking with one of the trained installers and hear his point of view from a builder's perspective. We've done all sorts of systems for jackal slabs and we like this system in particular because of its easiness for laying the pods, transportation and the fact we don't have a messy building site with polystyrene pods. But the armadillo system all has, also has a great potential for commercial foundations. A lot of the foundations we've done in commercial sites have involved large ground beams and trying to retain void spaces with shingle, which is always awkward. In this system here, you could use the armadillo pods in places of the shingle, which would be very economical. With the armadillos, we don't have internal uh, steel cages or stirrups. It's just a base rod on the bottom and no rods on the top. Very time efficient for us. Plumbers like it because it's easy to install pipes around the pods or through the pods. Uh, we don't have a lot of top steel involved in this system, it's all base steel. And once we've got our pods down and the base steel down, it's ready for the plumber and then just mesh on top. So, from our point of view, it's a very quick system and very easy system. The pods can also be adjusted to height very easily by cutting the base of them and lowering the base and then re taping them up. It's a very simple process. So we can adjust the height for thickenings, plumbing, supervision, plumbing waste, and etc. This is we don't have fibre concrete or steel fibre concrete in the armadillo system. The steel fibre concrete, although it's very strong, it's very awkward to place. You quite often we get steel fibres poking up through the floor at the end of the job, which many people complain about, especially in a garage situation. Right, so today we're pouring the floor for this armadillo foundation. Good thing about these foundations when we pour them, we go around and fill up the ribs first to keep the pods in a stable position. They don't really move anyway because they're locked together with the keystones, pretty tight. But we fill up about one third of them first, all the way around the perimeter and through the internal ribs, and it holds all the pods in a really rigid location. 